We were testing music players, specifically designed to be used while you're being sporty. We picked one player for each stage of our triathlon. The first stage was swimming. I've got the new Speedo Aquabeat. It holds 240 songs and is waterproof up to three metres. And it's got these clever little ear hooks that help keep your earphones in place while you're gliding through the water like a turbo-powered dolphin. I'd gone for the Finnis Swim P3. It holds 60 songs, but the cool bit is that it uses bone conduction instead of earphones. That means that they send sound waves into your skull, which ends up in your inner ear, giving you, the theory goes, good sound when you're in the drink. Armed with two very different technologies, we stepped up to the marks to see which one would bring victory. Three, two, one, go! The first thing we had to do was to get our music playing, and I was onto a winner. The Aquabeats control system was really intuitive with ergonomic buttons. They're big, they're bold, and they're really easy to use. I wasn't having quite so much luck with my Swim P3. The controls were so small I could hardly feel them. Come on, Jess. I'm still fiddling. And when I did get the music going, the quality was very patchy indeed. My sound really isn't that good. It's very tinny. And as I come in and out of the water, there's a big change in the quality of the sound. Meanwhile, I was forging ahead. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, don't, don't take the mickey. I've been trying to make these things work. My thumping music was helping me get a rhythm going, and it sounded great. I really enjoy these Aquabeats. The sound is fantastic. Because you've got in ear buds, you feel completely immersed in the music. Jace made one last push, cutting across into my lane, but I was home and wet. <laughs> Susie and her easy to use Aqua Beat had won the stage, but I had a chance to get my own back in the cycling. Three, two, one, go! Aha! For the cycling leg, I've chosen the sci fi. There's no point wearing headphones when you're on your bike. When there's stuff in your ears, you can't hear anything that's going around you. What you want are speakers, and that's exactly what this sci fi is. The rechargeable sci-fi speaker connects wirelessly to your iPod using a dongle. Which means that I can change my tracks and volume remotely. My choice, the Soundwalk Vest, is a wearable audio system consisting of two speakers in a shoulder harness. But unlike Susie, I had to change the tracks via my MP3 player. This can be a bit fiddly, but despite that, it feels really comfortable. While I was tinkering with my control, Susie had pulled ahead, but I wasn't beaten yet. Tell you what, Susie, what? I can hear your speaker system from here. Mine's really loud. The only thing that a sci-fi would say, it is a tiny little bit tinny. The sound quality on the sound warp vest is fantastic. It may be something to do with the orientation of the speakers. They're very near my ears. It feels oddly like I've got headphones in. Jason's confidence in his speakers had given him a burst of speed. And as I changed gears to chase him, he rounded the final corner. Oh, oh. Hey, the finish! I can see the finish! No! Yay! With Jason and his Super Sand Walk taking the cycling, we were neck and neck for the final race. The main event for sports MP3 players, running. Three, two, one, go! I'd gone for the 2 gig 500 song iPod Shuffle. It's really light with an impressive 12 hour battery. I don't care if you can't see which tune you're listening to. I only want to hear the music. I fancied my chances with this Amios MP3. It's just one gig of memory and a 10 hour battery, but what I loved was its total lack of wires. I think the sound quality is fantastic. Well, I think the sound quality on this is also fantastic. So far, we were pretty even, but in this test, usability was everything, and in that respect, the shuffle was brilliant. It's so easy to use, it's got the Apple wheel, so you can shuffle through tracks or change your volume very simply. Yeah, I've got to say, though, yeah? this fixes the same sort of boxes. And those functions, how easy are they to use, then? They're a lot easier than probably they look. Um, I shuffle forward and back between tracks using this little jog switch at the bottom. But now I'm suspecting that when Susie asked me that question, it was more about putting me off so she could take the lead. With my MP3 keeping pace with Susie's beloved shuffle, the last lap would come down to one thing. A sprint finish! Oh, 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 oh that's not good! <laughs> no! No! Oh. Yes! Oh, yes! No! 